Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, I am going to explore and walk you through with Hugging Face. I am also going to give you some excellent demos. I will walk you through some amazing pre-built apps which are available, which I am certain you will love. This is most happening topic. People are discussing much about Hugging Face. It gives you so much of freedom. It reduces your effort. That's why I chose to talk about it. Well, we are getting into it. Watch this. We could build, train, and deploy state-of-the-art models powered by the reference open source in machine learning. It's very true. I have tried few things and it was amazing. Your effort in coding, your effort in breaking your head with respect to choosing the models, all these things are definitely reduced and it's going to be really, really simple. You can build, train, and deploy and state-of-the-art models are the target and you will reach it. Well, why do we call it as hacking face? There is no specific reason that I could find, but they have related it to the emoji, which is always smiling and which is happily accepting everybody to come in. The uh, co-founder of uh, uh, Hugging Face has conveyed that machine learning is becoming the new way to build technology replacing software and he feels that it has to be done in a much easier way. The coding has to be much more easier, A has to be more uh, reachable, A has to be explored by many. So that's the reason they are building this and this is truly a low-code platform. This is amazing platform. I am stunned with many inputs that they have given in terms of tutorials, in terms of lectures. You will certainly love it. Is it free? Absolutely, it is free. There are even no ads available. So please understand that. Do we have some courses to learn this hugging face? Yes, I have given the uh, link in front of you. It is free online courses which are available. You have a list of stunning projects which you can explore and start going further into it. This is the best platform that you can start learning. Which domains are supported? Natural language processing, computer vision, text, tabular classification, multimodal, audio support. All these things are pretty much into this uh, hugging phase and we can explore all of this. There are so much of modules available, so much of guidelines available, uh, tutorials available. Many YouTubers have already touched it. So it's going to be very easy for you to learn hugging phase. Very good. I'm going to take one instance of it. I'm going to take up vision and I will walk you through the vision framework completely. But that's at the next level. Before that, I would like to talk about a very simple example that I really uh, like. Uh, with the hugging face capacity, the image classification. We are going to implement the image classification with hugging face. Why hugging face for it? Very simple. The recent advancements with the hugging face is really awesome. We can build image related solutions with hugging face with highest level of accuracy. We have the transformers support. The vision transformers which are already available with hugging face is going to be very useful for us and it will reduce your pain. With about say seven to eight lines of entire code, you will be able to get the image classification done. And that's simply stunning. It is amazing. So that's the reason we could go for it. How do we go ahead with it? The first step is to get the libraries installed, the Hugging Face Transformers, the Hugging Face data sets if needed. They are to be installed. But before that, we need to understand what's a transformer because I have used the term transformer quite a lot of time now. Hugging Face Transformers, this is really powerful. I spelled it right there, powerful. The transformers really provide you thousands of pre-trained models to perform tasks and different modalities, which include the text, the vision, the audio. This is very important. It provides you support for vast ranges, which include text, vision, and audio. Different spectrum is covered. These models can be applied on text for tasks like the text classification, the information extraction, question answering, summary session, translation, and everything that you want to do with NLP. In over 100 languages can be done with this. So that's amazing. Images for tasks like the image classification, object detection, segmentation, all these can be done. Audio, again, it goes to speech recognition and audio classification. All these comes and makes Hugging Face really nice. And the transformers, the Hugging Face transformers are the one which really powers up the entire Hugging Face. The transformer models can also perform tasks on several modalities which are combined. For example, the table question answering, optical character recognition, information extraction from scanned documents. Say you are scanning a document and it's a PDF, you want to extract information out of it. Video classification, all these are doable and there are already a lot of working models and demos available. So you can go ahead, pick it up and extend it. And that's very easy. And most importantly, this is already backed up by Jains. The Hugging Face Transformers, right, is backed up by most popular JAX, PyTorch and TensorFlow. 
So they are already supported by the industry giants and I'm sure this gives you confidence to jump in into it. Many pre-built examples are available there and you can go to getup.com, Hugging Face and inside that Transformers. So I have given the link in front of you. I will also paste this in the description section so that you can click it at one, one go and it will be easy for you to reach there. I am going to go for a demo right now. Yes, as I told you, we are going to demo a very simple example with Hugging Face, the image classification. It would certainly be easy for you. I have chosen uh, Google Collabs for running all these. Your choice, you can choose anything up to you and that's very, very easy. So I have given the comments. I have given the comment lines very clearly. I'll share this also with you. I'll share the link for this code with you so that you guys can go ahead and uh, do the further research, go ahead for the further learning and all those things here. Well, as I already told you, what is a transformer? A transformer is something that powers up the total concept of hugging face. So we have pre-built, pre-trained models available with us. We are going to use this. The first step in this is to go ahead and install the transformers. So what am I going to do here? I'm going to take a football image and I need to understand. This is a soccer ball. I'm going to understand what is it. I need to get that done. That's all. So for that, the first step is to go ahead with pip install hyphen q transformers. So this will get the installation of the transformers done. I'm going to do that right now. And it will take few seconds for you to get all these done. So if you are familiar with Google Colab, go ahead with it. But otherwise, you can even use Jupyter Notebook. I will give you this notebook also so that you can freely access it. Now, the next thing is the uh, transformers, VAT. We call it VAT, Vision Transformers. But I'll talk about it a little later. For now, you understand that we have to import all the necessary libraries and that's what I'm doing here. And the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an image called as image.jpg, which is nothing but uh, here it is. It is a food soccer image, soccer ball image. This is the image that I have taken. But how do you upload it? Very simple. You have a box here. Inside that, you have an upload button. The moment you click that button, you will be able to access uh, the selected file and you can upload it. So that's going to be one minute work for you. So before uploading, you cannot run this. You have to upload that for you to identify what is the content of the image. Now, what do I do? I have got the image, image.jpg. I have already uploaded it and I am storing it in a variable sport underscore file. So we are taking a file. We have uploaded it in Colab. We are using Colab and it's your choice. You can use even Jupyter Notebook. We have got no specificity there. Now I'm just displaying it. We are displaying it to make sure that, yeah, it is a football or a soccer ball, as you call it. And you can see that in front of you. Now, what is the next step? We need to get this as a NumPy array. So only then the processing can be easier. So I'm converting it as a NumPy array. The image is converted as a NumPy array. The next step is to go with the feature extractor. We have got the feature extractors, av extractors available with us. VAT feature extractor dot from pre-trained is there. So VAT for image classification dot from pre-trained is there. All these details are available very clearly. So how did you know that this is the name? That's a question that you need to ask. So I have got a web link which is pasted here. I'll also give you that. This is given by Hugging Face themselves. And you can see all these things very clearly out there in the official documentation. So this is the transformer. This is the vision transformer that I'm using. Vision transformer vision transformer vat hyphen base hyphen patch 16 hyphen 224 they have given the complete detail about it the piece of code that i have written is taken from here you can see that we have got from the import it can be taken from here only thing is i have taken a different image and i have tested it out all here and the complete step-by-step -step explanation is given here so what is this this is nothing but the transformer this is a vision transformer and we are going to use this and how do you understand what is the name that you need to give there? Just click this button. This will get you the name. This is the name and this will get you the clear inputs. Now you can see that here, this is what I have taken. So this is nothing but the name that they have specified very clearly here and I can copy from here. So that is as simple as that. So your classification process becomes much more easier when you go with pre-built transformers which are available and that's what we are going to do now. Now here we are having something called as Feature extractors, right? We need to talk about it. Uh, the transformers part of it, I hope you are very clear. Now, with this feature extractor, what we do is we get the resizing done. We are going to normalize the image. This gets the image ready for further processing. So what we have is 224 plus 224. And after this is done, we can go ahead and build the model. So that's it. That's the next step that you are seeing. Model equal to right. You can see that there. So there, what do we do? We build the model. So you, I recommend you to strongly read through the Official documentation page for this uh, VAT, that is Vision Transformer. 
it will be really really helpful for you i am sure you will love it now what are the next step we need to extract the objects the model is ready so now we can predict it as well the feature extractor is explained here very clearly and we are going for the further step where we are going to extract the features and followed by that i need to go with the prediction i need to understand which is the predicted class it is 805 but i need to know what is it so it's a soccer ball that's all it is done that that's it just with few lines of code we are able to get the clear predictions done here and the classification is done it's so simple isn't it so you go ahead and try it out and you can definitely explore this as well if you have any questions let me know i'll be able to answer you and if you like the channel content please go ahead and subscribe um i'm going to talk about the complete spectrum the complete um, ecosystem of the uh, vision box here which is available at the hacking phase that's in the next session until then stay tuned thank you